Larry Gets Lost in Washington, D.C., illustrated by John Skews, written by John Skews and Andrew Fox. Larry Gets Lost in Washington, D.C. This is Larry. This is Pete. They love watching the world as they share the back seat. What an adventure today's trip would be. America's capital, Washington, D.C. They roll down their freeway, a big belt, they say, filled with folks who work hard for the nation each day. They stop for a moment where stones painted white stood proud, still and silent, like stars in the night. So much to see here, so much to learn. But now Larry's stomach was starting to churn. And so they all got out to walk for a spell. Larry chased after a fabulous smell. He slurped and he chomped the treat that he found. But when he looked up, Pete was nowhere to be found. He looked left and right. He looked far behind him. If Pete wasn't there, he would have to go find him. Some men who might help him came into his view, but they were just statues. He'd look someplace new. Such a big fancy yard with a house painted white. Would he find his friend here? Larry hoped that he might. He checked with a dog as it strolled the front lawn. No, he hadn't seen Pete. It was time to move on. Larry circled a park. He searched high and low. With no sign of Pete, where should he go? He ran up some steps and then through a front door. Had Pete gone inside, Larry wasn't quite sure. He saw whales and elephants, beasts of all kind, but not the one boy Larry wanted to find. These papers look special, but what did they say? With no time to wonder, he went on his way. Airplanes and rockets that soared through the sky. Would Pete and his family be somewhere nearby? Larry stopped at a flag, resting tattered and proud. There were parents and kids, but no Pete in the crowd. He ran back outside, where he spied a big dome. Could this be where Larry would find his way home? The building was bigger inside than out. His journey soon led to an underground route. Up sideways and stairs ran that little dog Larry, then and through the doors to a giant library. A dog wasn't welcome in this quiet place. They scolded and shushed him, then started to chase. A pleasant librarian picked Larry up. Now what shall we do with this lost little pup? She took him outside where he wouldn't disturb and told him to sit at the edge of the curb. She, she looked at his collar and pulled out her phone. It seemed as if Larry would soon be back home. The moment they heard the librarian's voice, Pete and his family began to rejoice. The boy and his dog couldn't be more delighted. At last, Pete and Larry had been reunited. They fell fast asleep as their car drove away. It had been an exciting, adventurous day.